Okay guys, now that we've uh, taken a look at how to calculate um, centroids a little bit using both methods of you know, basic shapes and direct integration, let's take a look at our last problem on the topic. So over here, they're saying find the x-coordinate of the centroid of the shaded region. So it's a pretty typical problem. Um, we know that these are, you know, our shaded region is not composed of basic shapes over here. Um, and for that reason, what we're going to do is um, solve this using direct integration. And in our previous problem, we saw that you know, direct integration simply amounts to using a couple of these formulas, um, you know, plugging and playing and getting the job done. Right? We calculate the area of taking the top function minus the bottom function and integrating it. Then we multiply you know, this term by x, repeat the process, and then we apply this formula in order to get the, you know, the first moment about the x-axis. And finally, remember that in order to get the x-coordinate, um, it is this guy, qy divided by a, and to get y-bar, it is qx divided by a. If we were to apply these, I mean, we can apply these formulas again to get the job done over here. But remember, in applying these formulas, first of all, you know, everything is in terms of x, and we want to figure out what the top and bottom functions are. And remember, that's just a fancy way of saying what is y equal on top and what is y equal on the bottom. The problem here becomes that our top and bottom are not consistent, right? If we take a look at, you know, the top and bottom, let's say here, uh, that didn't show too well. Let's try another color. All right, so maybe to illustrate to you guys what I'm saying. If we take a look at the top and bottom over here versus somewhere else in the shaded region, we can see that the top in both cases is the same, but our bottom changes. And this is why instead of you know, using these formulas with you know, our top and bottom, it might make sense to do this a different way. Instead of considering the top and bottom, why don't we rather consider left and right? Because no matter where I am in the shaded region, on the right side I always touch the parabola, and on the left side I always touch this guy. And so what would these formulas become if instead of doing top bottom we did left right? Let's take a look. So the area wouldn't change much. So let's take a look at our problem. First of all, let's find our new formulas. The area wouldn't change much. Our area would remain the same idea, but it would be right minus left dy. And I'll say we'll go from C to D. So if we apply this to our problem, so this is what this equation that we're already familiar with it becomes. If we apply this to our problem, let's first of all understand what right and left are for us. This time around, instead of having x's in our integrals, we'll have y's. So in order to solve this problem, I'm going to look at this equation that I have. Let's make sure you guys can see it. It's y squared equals 25x. And we're going to manipulate this and solve for x. So we're going to see that x is actually equal to y squared over 25. And then, so that will be our right. Our left is going to be right there. And that's simply x equals 0. So the good news is the left is going to become 0. And clearly, um, y values, our y values go from 25 um, to 50 millimeters in this case. So if we apply this first formula, we're going to quickly get our area. So let's make that happen. So setting this up, we see that we're going from 25 to 50. And we're simply doing right minus left. Now right is y squared over 25, and left is simply 0. So we just need to integrate y squared over 25 dy. And so that's going to give us y cubed over 75. Oops. Going from 25 to 50. It's not going to take us long to discover what this answer is. It's a matter of using our calculator a little bit. So 50 cubed minus 25 cubed, all divided by 75, gives us a grand total of 4375 divided by 3. So that is our area. 
That's our first integral. Let's take a look at what our next integral is going to become. Now understand, since they're only asking us for x bar over here, since they're only asking us for x bar, really we need two ingredients. We need qy um, over a. The difference is that our qy kind of changes over here. What it's going to end up becoming, the formula for qy now, is going to be the following. It's going to be 1 half the integral from c to d, the right squared minus the left squared. And similarly, just to be complete over here, even though we're not going to use this, qx is going to be the integral of y times right minus left dy. So let's figure out what qy is in our case. Let's calculate it. So it's going to be 1 half the integral from 25 to 50. The, the bounds will not change. And it's simply the right squared. So we're going to have to square this value. So y squared squared becomes y to the 4. 25 squared is 625. And so if we evaluate him, we are going to simply get y to the 5 over 5. Now, over 5, over 625, over 2. That's going to give us a big number. So 2 times 625 times 5 gives us 6250. So I just multiplied all the constants on the bottom. And now we're going to take this from 25 to 50. And that's going to give us the next ingredient that we need. So it's a pretty big value. 48437.5. Since we're using decimals, I might as well convert him as well. 4375 divided by 3 is going to give me 1458.3 repeating. And this is it. This is all we need to calculate x bar. Remember, x bar is just qy over a. You just have to be careful that your qy becomes this new formula when you're doing right minus left instead of top minus bottom. Now, you could have continued using these except you would have had to split your integral up into two, and you wouldn't even know where to do that, maybe. Right? It'll be from here, zero, to whatever that value is, then from there onwards. So this is definitely the better way of doing this. To get the x-coordinate, we're just going to divide our two values, and we will be done. So x bar here, guys, is nothing more than qy over a, and if we apply this, we get 48437, 0.5 divided by 1458.3 repeating. Let's calculate that and see if it makes sense. 48437.5. It gives me a final answer of 33.21 um, millimeters. So this would be the x coordinate of your centroid, so 33 centimeters in. We don't know how much up because we didn't bother calculating this. You guys should try this at home and hopefully you'll get a value that's going to place you somewhere in this shaded region. So the moral of the story here is the purpose of this question was to show you how you can take these equations and manipulate them to do right minus left instead of top and bottom. Is use horizontal bars of integration instead of vertical bars of integration. Um, we've already seen problems on how to do those. They're fairly simple problems. Um, so this is one, you know, level of difficulty that they can add to the problem. And now you know. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next problem.